Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. Uh, good evening to Dr. Mahbub, our lecturer for Major Powers Foreign Policy. So today we are going to present for our topic. So before that, let me share the slide first for us to, intro uh, to introduce all of us today. Let me share the slide. So please give me some time to share the slide. Now I'm sharing the slide. Okay. Can you guys see the slides? Okay. Okay, uh, the theme for our members is what factors influence to formulate foreign policy, especially the case of major powers. But before that, let me introduce our group members. Wani Khairani binti Muhammad Khadir, Iman Amina binti Azman, Wan Harisun binti Wan Hamid, Nurul Hikmah, Nurul Najira binti Muhammad Roslan, Nik Najiha binti Nik Kabari, Nurul Azian binti Zainal. So next, let us first present you with one video that actually talks about the foreign policy. So maybe Wani, you can help us to actually share the video if possible. Now we are sharing with you the video about United States foreign policy. Sorry, Wani, but I can't hear the voice. Do you guys hear the voice? No. Sorry, it's so okay. let me try once again. Okay, sure. I'll make it clear to China that after years of targeting our industries and stealing our intellectual property, the theft of American jobs and wealth has come to an end. I have great respect for President Xi, and we are now working on a new trade deal with China. I hope you can pass the USMCA into law so that we can bring back our manufacturing jobs in even greater numbers. We have secured over the last couple of years, more than $100 billion of increase in defense spending from our NATO allies. Decades ago, the United States entered into a treaty with Russia in which we agreed to limit and reduce our missile capability. Russia repeatedly violated its terms. That is why I announced that the United States is officially withdrawing from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Perhaps we can negotiate a different agreement, adding China and others, or perhaps we can't, in which case we will outspend and out-innovate all others. If I had not been elected President of the United States, we would right now, in my opinion, be in a major war with North Korea. Okay, so that's a little bit about United States foreign policy. So without further ado, uh, I will share the slides once again. Give me one second or maybe more. Okay, so this is the slide. Uh, now we will actually pass the baton to Wani Kharyani to present what factors actually influence to formulate foreign policy, especially the case of major powers. Now I pass to you, Wani. All right, thank you, Harrison. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, now we move on to the introduction. So what actually foreign policy. Foreign policy decision making is agreed to be one of 
the greatest instrument at the state's disposal to pursue its national interest. It is considered a full of political activity of states. A good foreign policy will obviously lead to state in fulfilling its national interest and acquiring rightful place among community of nations. The factor of foreign policy is formulated by their goals and nature of the international power structure in making in making decisions. That's all from me. So next we have the you uh, we have the foreign policy from China will be present uh, will be presented by Najira. Okay, hi, uh, I am Najira. Uh, so today I am going to talk about the China foreign policy. Uh, what what are the elements of their uh, of making their <laughs> foreign policy? So the first one is uh, the size of state territory, which uh, the size of a state is important is an important factor of foreign policy. Uh, size influences the psychological and operational environment within the foreign policy makers and public response. So the second one is internal situations. Uh, the sudden changes, disturbance or disorders that occur, occur within the internal environment of a nation also influence the nature and of course uh, the foreign policy, uh, high-ranking government officials and military officers to scholars, researchers, business people, uh, the media and large energy are increasingly involved in China's foreign policy. Policy making, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, next slide. Okay, so the third one is uh, level and nature of economic development. China's economic statecraft has had verifying political effectiveness, highlighting how the sometimes subversive effects of China's projects on recipient uh, countries' political processes and institutions also produce a backlash in public opinion. Uh, the fourth one is diplomacy. China openly acknowledged that its diplomacy must serve its economic development. Chinese leaders espouse a foreign policy that places high importance on global stability, uh, friendly and cooperative uh, relations, and good neighborliness. So, and the last one, the fifth one is its external environment, uh, which are the uh, conflicts, wars, and revolutions in many parts of the world pose serious challenges to China as it tries to maintain a peaceful environment for continued domestic growth. Security challenges in Asia directly affects China's foreign policy outlook. That's all for me. Okay, next, will we present about the... Wait a second. Okay, now we will present about the United States of America foreign policy. Uh, the main factor that actually influenced the United States of America foreign policy, as we can see in the video, they have a lot of policy, whether towards China, North Korea, or other states. And it sometimes depends on the leaders. But the main factor is because of their size of state. Foreign policy of a big size state, which is America, uh, is bound to be different from the foreign policy of small size state. Public and foreign policy makers of big size states are definitely governed by their desire to be big powers in the world. United States having 53 states altogether under their administrations and that mark a huge area among other states in the world. The bigger the size of the state, the bigger the power that it holds. Next one. The United States foreign policy factors, the second one is because of their geographical factor. United States is the only great power in the history of the world that has had luxury of having non predatory neighbors to its north and south and fish to its east and west. That means that they are actually having blessing in all of their territory. The two oceans um, to either side of the country are what historian Thomas Bailey brilliantly described as its liquid asset. What I mean by liquid asset is they have fish inside their territorial water 
that is enough for them to use and also export to outside of their countries. Canadians, Mexicans and fish. That trio of neighbors has given the United States an unprecedented degree of security, a huge margin for error in international affairs and the luxury of largely unfettered development. The third one is level and nature of economic development. One of main reasons why US foreign policy have been very often successful in securing its national objective, particularly in relation to the poor and economically lowly placed states of the world is the high degree of its economic development. The developed countries of our times are highly industrialized and economically developed states. This can use foreign aid as a tool for securing their foreign policy goals. So next, we're moving to Japan foreign policy. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Iman Amina. Uh, okay, uh, for the third one is Japan foreign policy. Uh, the factor that influence uh, Japan to formulate, formulate their foreign policy is ideology. Uh, since the end of the World War II, Japan has operated via a policy of pacifism and pacifism. It began to change in the late 80s and early 90s in tandem with a shift in national as understood via a change in its conception of its international role as a great economy power. Japan's anti-terrorism policy can be seen as a part of their of this broader foreign policy. Next. Next slide. Okay, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for a moment. Sorry for disturbance. Can you see the slide? Can you see that? Hello? We cannot see no, this No, cannot, cannot. Oh, cannot. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot this to be shared. Wait a second. Wait for a moment. Please be patient. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the second factor that uh, influenced Japan's foreign policy is le leadership. Japan's thinking on foreign policy was also was also influenced by the rise of a new post post war generation to leadership and policy making position in outlook between the other leaders still in position of power and influence and the younger generation that was replacing them complicated formulation of foreign policy under prime minister yush Yashuhiro Nakoste, a more hawkish stance on foreign policy was introduced. Japan's, uh, Japan built up a close political military re relationship with the United States as part of a de facto international front of a number of developed and developing countries in terms of checking Soviet expansion. Okay, the third factor is size and population. Which land space and poor natural resources, Japan have heavily depends on the international government for its survival. It has no other choice than to make persistent and diverse toward international harmony in order to ensure its existence. Moreover, against the background of growing interdependence among nations today, Japan is strengthening 
its ties with the international community in every aspect of human life. Okay, next I will pass to other presenters. Uh, okay, next is Russia foreign policy. Uh, the first factors uh, of Russia foreign policy is state, a size of state territory. Okay, now we have uh, uh, Russia foreign policy. Russia. Uh, hello. Police. Yes, hello. Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry, I think my internet is a problem. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so next is Russia foreign policy and uh, the first factors is size of state territory. Uh, Russia is the second largest state and second largest holders of nuclear, nuclear weapons after the US. Uh, therefore, their interest in formatting new world order was easily achieved as Russia, as Russia used its human resources in their armed forces which eventually known as one of the powerful military uh, hello okay uh, uh, the second factors is geographic factors um geographically russia have a very deep relations with islam and muslim world and part of the oic members are from muslim world who also part of the former Soviet Union, geopolitical also one of the biggest players in developing Russia's economic as they depend heavily on export oil and gas. Therefore, Russia, therefore, Russia cooperate with the Middle East, which part of the Muslim world by supporting oil producers in Persian Gulf. Russia also known for exploiting their own resources by themselves um, in achieving their personal interest. Next slide. Uh, the third factor is economic development and the main priority in foreign policy of Russia, of Russia in Russian Federation in International Economic Relations is to promote development of the national economic. Despite facing uh, economic and logistic problems, the Russian economic relations. And in 2011, Russia... Ra in 2011, Russia was nominated as the sixth largest national economic PPP, uh, terms, after, terms after China, uh, the US, India, Japan, and Japan and Germany. Uh, next presenter. Okay. Um, next is, okay. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nuru Hikma. So I'm going to present about uh, the factor that influence a German of German foreign policy. Uh, the first one is economic development. German, Germany is one of the world's biggest industri industrialized countries. Foreign trade is a key factor in German's economic output. Germany is integrated into the global economy and dependent on its growth to a greater extent than many other countries. In this connection, Germany, Germany's competitiveness on the global market is one of the is of in, increasing importance. Economic power constitute, constitute a fundamental dimension of German, German power, and it can be used more effectively to secure German foreign policy goals to promote and protect economic interests and to help foster the further development of just and sustainable global economic cooperation. Next. Next. Eh. Next question. Uh, second, alien, uh, alliance and international treaties. The translated partnership is a constant of German foreign policy. The US is Germany's closest ally outside Europe. Translated, transatlantic uh, relations are based on historical experience and share values such as democracy, freedom, and the rule of law. These relations are rooted in common interests and objectives, as well as the two uh, countries' long-standing close social, political, and economic ties. European integration and the European Union are also the cornerstone of German foreign policy. In view of shift in the global balance of power, 
the men can only remain capable of taking action through a strong EU and by working with its European partners. Third one is cultural factor. Cultural relation is the pillar of the German foreign policy. The core of cultural relations lies the task of enabling access to culture across geographical, political, and social borders, thus creating mutual understanding. Culture also provides people with way of thinking, seeing, and interpreting the things around them. It shapes ideas and serves an instrument in German foreign policy. So, so um, my name is Nur Aljan B. Tizana, and I will conclude this discussion. So, uh, as a conclusion, uh, for a country, for a, big, a major power to gain the utmost in, uh, national interest, they must uh, seriously considering every factors in determining the foreign policy. So uh, from the previous presentation, size of territory uh, has been considered as the most important factor by most major powers as um, you know, determining the security, the resources, and second is the level and nature of economic development as the second most considered factor by most major power. As it become, it will become a leverage for them to gain, um, to secure income into the country. And third, strategic ge ge geographical location as the third most considered uh, deciding factor. As an example, United States has, um, uh, was situated uh, near the Pacific Ocean, so it has gained security from it. And for other, uh, for other factors that influence uh, the the formation of um, sorry, <laughs> the formation of uh, foreign policy, uh, depending on the unique characteristic of the major power itself, such as leadership and ideology of Japan external affairs and diplomatic cooperation of China and Germany, and as well as culture from Russia. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much to ASEAN. So let us uh, close this presentation first. Uh, so before we end our discussion today, uh, ASEAN has already concluded. So let us uh, set our name once again, just for just for uh just for reminder i am one harrison zero four nine four two eight i'm only here any penti mama kaide zero zero five zero zero nine six five uh i'm nurla jira penti mama zero five one three zero seven hi Zero five zero four zero four. Ah, uh, hi. I am Nina Jiha. Zero five one 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 four. Hi, I'm Nurikma. Zero five one four eight eight. Okay, we. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ajian. <laughs> zero four nine five two one. Okay. Right. That means, uh, we have our presentation today. Thank you so much to Dr. Hug for uh, watching us. Thank you so much, Doctor. Bye bye.